everybody and welcome back to the channel so today is a very special day because something came from the mail today and we have our next transformers review so we have versus vs04 head warrior this is no other than legends class headmaster mind wipe aka <laughs> inspiration bat from the cool man uh, head warrior series of Vecna. There you go. So that's, uh, no, can't really focus on that. There you go. Vecna. So today we're going to discuss about uh, this little bat robot right here. So we have his product shots again. We got the toy display. We got the bat mode. We got a really nice pose right there. It says rebirth. The cool art that they borrowed from some artist that we don't know. Does here versus more product shots so that is the box this just came in from uh, from China so I had to disinfect it and uh, make sure that it's uh, COVID free but since we're talking about COVID just want to thank our sponsors again for helping us out with our show so we have Fern Active from the makers of Fern C and Fern D so this is um, a multivitamin food supplement so you all, all you can see there is like these are, you know, has the necessary vitamins and minerals to get you through today and protect it against the nasty COVID virus. So I'll put the link if you're interested in getting one of these. Thank you again for Fern Active and Fern B. I tried one of these. I always take one of these. And uh, well, it says there are no approved therapeutic claims, but they're vitamins. So they're good for you. So there you have it burn active it gets you active through the day now like what i said this thing came from china i ordered it uh, from a small chinese store and i waited maybe around two weeks and now i have it so i took the liberty of removing the plastic tape and let's see what's inside the box let's unbox this thing throw away that part right there we have his plastic prison there you go so really nice uh, I was hoping there would be another exosuit, but we don't have any exosuit, so that's it. What do we have right here? We have a manual and a stand, so that's pretty much it. Um, let's try to get our cutter of salvation. There you go. And let's try to open this thing right here. It still has uh, plastic everywhere and tape. Throw that and let's free mind wipe or aka inspiration that from his plastic prison so inspiration that aka mind wipe comes along with let me just try to steady the camera uh, he comes along with two guns there we go and he is color color pink I thought that he was purple but uh, yeah he is color pink so there you go really nice matte color again the uh, Vecma is going for that matte finish I like it let's see if he has the yes he, I think he has so there's the the stats there are the stats I mean so you have the strength, the knowledge, or the intelligence, and I think speed, but, uh, you know, they, they usually show that in the Transformer, uh, Transformers uh, G1 Headmasters. He's pretty plain, and right at the get-go, I can see a lot of num marks right there. There you go, you see that? Which is very common for MFT. I mean... Uh, they're notorious for their screw marks, but I would say that they are okay. I definitely love the the wings. Very sinister looking wings right there. Orange wings. It's like there's like a circuit that looks like a membrane for the wings of the bat. The face though, I am not a big fan. If you take a look at the face, it's a... Uh, has that constipated look. 
<laughs> it looks like the, uh, you know, he's like, he didn't get the last cookie. Everybody got the cookie, but except for this guy. So he's like, ah, where's my cookie? So there you go. Let's take a look at the bat. The back looks plain. There are some kibble here, which I believe these are the uh, the feet of the bat mode. There you go. We got some really nice uh, exhausts right here. Gun metal looking. So articulation wise, he can definitely. Oh no, we have what is that? So there's like a. I guess that's for transformations. Uh, there's a double joint right there or like a section but I think yeah he has the same articulation he can go that way but since that there is uh, like a limb section here for the wings we can't really go through that much he has a uh, yes shoulder swivel how about wrist swivel no nope, we don't have wrist swivel uh, thigh swivel we do can move it up right there do a knee pose we have ankle tilts ankle rockers whatever you want to call them uh, the head can rotate nope it can't I just don't want it but okay well it can it should because there's like that port right there but I don't know why so here is the headmaster Really cute little guy, and you know how that works. You just hold the head and then just bring it back to the transtector body. There you go. Pretty much, it's uh, just pretty straightforward. Right, we got a robot that looks like a bat, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause the video and try to transform Inspiration Bat. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and as you can see, we have Inspiration Bat, aka Legends Class Mindwipe, in his robot mode, and we're going to transform him into uh, his uh, bat mode in a bit. But before that, let's just put over here and let's check out the manual. So the manual is pretty plain looking, it's pretty straightforward, it's nothing to write home about. And again, like what I told you, only came along with a stand but other than that it didn't have anything special that came with it no exosuit no nothing just plain old mind wipe so let's try to transform him the first thing we got to do is get rid of his head of course he's a headmaster let's remove the guns and if you take a look at the guns you would see that there are some you know some really nice sculpting right there. Okay. Pink guns. This guy puts the mean in pink. This is this is gun right here. This is a pretty mean Decepticon. Mean looking Decepticon right there. Oops. There you go. So that's the gun. You see some screw marks. That that's just really simple. Okay, so we got a headless robot. That's what we have right now. So the first thing we gotta do. You see the legs right there. We got locks. We gotta lock them in place. Like so. Straighten the legs out. Like that. And we're gonna move on to this section right here. Okay? So you can just unhinge the back part of the legs, fold the toes in like so, and then just flip them down. They're all good. Next, you're going to see these extra feet. So these are the bat feet. The, okay. And you want to do it that way, position it that way. Because, okay, we're going to bring this section up. Oopsie. Uh, nope. Give me a sec. We got to unhinge that because I forgot there are two hinges here too so we got to rotate this first right there and connect them there you go because these little notches right here are going are going to notch in place and into those little holes just try to fold them 
and you're going to see that there is a sorry for the shaky camera you're going to see there's a section right here that would lock in place with this so you just really have to hear that little snappy sound and you're going to push this in there you go there you go really tight locks from MFT again so you're pretty much halfway okay so we have like a, a hunchback of Notre Dame kind of thing but that's his backpack so what we got to do now is just get the arm section like this and rotate it right now once you rotate it that way just you're going to rotate the wing section so that the bat arms would be facing front. Now this right here, you would have to rotate. And this is the part that I don't like because um, I, I don't see any locking mechanism or uh, thing that would hold the arms in place. So, and right now I don't have fingernails, so it's like really difficult to pry that open, but you gotta pry that section open to expose this hinge fold the wrists in right and do the same thing with the other side just bring the whole assembly rotate it like so rotate the wing section right you can expand the wings but just make sure that the make sure that that arm is facing front right and do the same with this just try to pry that open fold the wrist rotate that into this angle right here so you have a headless bat if you want to put the head past the back right there it looks like a mythical filipino monster it's what we call manangal and uh, these monsters would eat the babies from pregnant women but enough of that <laughs> it's too early for halloween so one thing i like about this is that it has a very nice crystal cover for the chest and that's going to expose the bat head now this is what i noticed if you do that the wings of the bat i mean the ears of the bat prevents you from pushing it further you're going to break that thing so what you want to do is angle it at a certain angle like that just give me a second just try to angle it see see what happened i angled it that way and then i just there you go pulled it rotate the bat head lock the bat head in place and bada bing bada boom you got a nasty flying little rat <laughs> You have a mechanical rat. <laughs> so, he's one of the most uh, accurate looking mind wipes that I've seen, except for maybe the original G1, which I don't have. But he's fun. He is a fun toy. There you go. In bat mode, that is. I, I'm not a big fan of the robot mode, it's too plain for me. But the bat mode looks great. The bat mode is the best part of this toy. Although the gripe here is that you don't have any locking mechanism for the arms, it just stays that way. But he looks G1 accurate right there. I like that. Now, if you remember your G1 in the last few days of the Transformers, they tried doing a comeback, like a rebirth, and they introduced these guys. So there was a scene where, oh, by the way, you can put the head right there. <laughs> just throw it in. So there was a scene where Mind Wipe was talking in a very Transylvanian accent and he was talking to one of the Technobots so we have one of the Technobots right here we have Lightspeed you will back away Lightspeed back away my power of darkness is stronger than you so that was one of my favorite scenes where Lightspeed was hypnotized by the mind powers of mind life and he just backed away and fell into a ditch of some sort i don't know but that was pretty cool so i thought that decepticons were like already cool but i didn't know that they have like supernatural powers but when you go to the japanese g1 the 
headmasters there. These guys were like more of a goofy bunch of villains. They were, they were kind of like a like a, the what do you call this? The three stooges of the Decepticons. <laughs> but they were pretty strong. They were strong stooges. They were mean stooges, but not so smart. Not so smart. So I guess he's the smartest out of all the animals headmasters. So that's pretty cool. Again, you have a very nice looking bat right here. Bat wings are really cool. I like that you can uh, uh, extend the wing sections. I like that it's segmented. So let's have a comparison. So the only another another gripe that I have is that you have kibble. You can't connect it to the bat mode. So it's like that sucks. That just sucks right there. So let's compare him to another flying mammal. This is Titan's Return Mind Wipe. So this is the Hasbro one. And as you can see, he has more of a rubbery face. I don't like the face on that guy. It really looks monstrous. It's like a cross between a vampire bat and a fruit bat. This is really more like a, a cartoonish robotic bat, which I prefer. This is more purplish, while this is more pinkish and orange. Right? And uh, definitely, this is the deluxe class. And this is a Legends class leader. So... Size-wise, I think they're pretty much close. Ro uh, mode-wise, bat mode-wise, I like the MFT one. The Hasbro one took a lot of liberty and it didn't really look much like the one in the cartoon. Um, but I still like this guy because it's one of the very few toys that I really wanted but never got the chance to own when I was a kid. So when Hasbro revived the the headmaster series i was just really like head over here i was like wow that's pretty cool so let's do a final pause we're gonna do uh like the last comparison of the video uh with the uh, robot mode and other sizes we'll be right back okay we're back in size wise comparison between legends class mft mind wipe aka inspiration bat compared to the hasbro mind wipe from titans returns you would see that there is very little difference when it comes to the height like this is just like a few inches taller than this guy but with the bulkiness and the width of the like the expanse of the wings from from the mft line i think it's like almost deluxe size if you really think about it so that is just something that I like about what's going on now and I believe that these are original molds from MFT that means that there are they are not knocking off any mold from other third-party companies like DX9 or Iron Factory so you know uh, it's it's really great what MFT is doing it's like what what route they're taking when it comes to these transformer figures so I really like what's happening so we're gonna put uh, Hasbro mind wipe down at the back and of course since we're almost there we have a size comparison between uh, MFT weird wolf so just one more one more figure and we are complete uh, comparing them with the other MFT uh, headmasters Let's uh, put their ri Autobot rivals. We have Hardhead right here. And they just look great. They just look fantastic. So we have Sea Dragon, aka uh, Highbrow. We'll put him there. And we take a wide shot. There you go. So they look great and they look fantastic together. They just really scale well. So, one thing that I would definitely recommend is that if you're a big fan of the Headmasters like I am, Japanese G1, I mean, it's it's a must for you to get these guys. These guys are just really fantastic. Um, and once we complete them, and I think that I'll be getting my Skull Cruncher really, really soon. Uh, just have to wait a couple more weeks. I ordered that from the same store from Shopee and here's a sneak peek of Skullcruncher from Hasbro 
So the third the third member of the Decepticon Headmasters will be joining us really, really soon. So that is pretty much it. So just one more size comparison because I, I just realized that I've been doing a lot of reviews for uh, Japanese style transformers, especially coming from MFP. So here is a size comparison between Leader Class Die Atlas There we go. And, uh, yeah. I know that this is from Transformers Zone. <laughs> and these guys are from the Headmasters. But still, I just wanted to do a little side scan. So, uh, that's pretty much it. So, final say on this little guy right here is that I think uh, robot mode, he's a little too plain. The plain uh, pink, no color variant, just black and pink. And just the orange is just too... Uh, just too boring for me, I guess. But the best mode is the bat mode. Really nice bat mode right there. The head sculpt is, uh, yeah, it's a little meh for my taste. There you go. And I like the gimmick where they put the, the stats again. I try to reveal that. I can't reveal it anymore. There you go. Uh, guns are too plain too. But he is necessary for us to complete the trio for the headmasters and once we do that we will review them together with their big bad boss black zarak or uh scorponok so we're going to have them together but in the meantime that's going to be it for us thank you very much for joining us and thank you for the people that have been liking and subscribing please continue to like and subscribe hit that notification button click that like button hit that subscribe thank you very much people and again until next time till all till all are one Peace out and rock and roll. Again, my name is Chumpy. Bye, guys.